In this video, we're gonna talk about how to deal with condensation in your RV. Now, if you're camping this fall or winter in cooler weather, or even in the summer months in an area where the temperatures drop a little bit at night, this is really good information. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned because we've got some tips for you in this video. Welcome to Grateful Glamper. If you're new here, my name is Charity and I have been RVing with my family for five years now. And we have learned a lot along the way. So the purpose of this channel is to share with you the things that we've learned, places to visit, great food to try, and much, much more. And we've got some great travel videos coming up in the next few weeks too. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if any of these topics are interesting to you and you want to stay updated with all of the great stuff that's coming out. Now, moisture inside your RV is not something that you want and camping doesn't have to stop in the fall and the winter especially if you head somewhere where the climate's warmer and let's just get this out of the way first if you can head south for the winter head south I am personally not a fan of the cold which is why we moved our home base from Colorado to Florida several years ago but even when you are in the south whether that be Arizona Texas Florida or any other southern state chances are you're going to still experience some cooler temps at some point if you're fall or winter camping in colder weather states for sure you are going to have a battle with condensation in your RV. I'm gonna share with you the number one tool that we use to get rid of condensation in our RV, but first, let's talk a little bit about why RVs are prone to condensation in the first place. So in short, really, it's just moisture and temperature. When the warm air inside of your RV comes into contact with colder surfaces, such as the windows or the metal window frames, or even the RV walls, because these things are not insulated the best, the moisture that is in the air comes into contact with those surfaces and bam, you have condensation. <laughs> Now, we all know RVs are not insulated like a sticks and bricks house, and so this temperature variance gets pretty drastic. And with that drastic temperature difference, there isn't a ton that you can do to mitigate it unless you either cool the inside of your RV to match the temperature of the outside or magically control the weather and change the temperature outside to match the temperature of the inside of your RV, which we all know that's not going to happen. You have to look at how do you try to mitigate the moisture that's inside of the RV. And that's where we have five tips on how to do just that. So tip number one, crack open the vents or the windows. This actually can help the moist air escape and create a little bit of circulation. And yeah, it could be a little chilly depending upon the outside temp, but cracking a roof vent can be super helpful and doesn't let a lot of cold air in. And running a roof vent fan, like the Max Air fans, for a few minutes can definitely help get some of that moisture out of the RV as well. Oh, 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 hey. oh, Tip number two, wipe down surfaces that do have condensation on them. If you wake up in the morning and you see that there is a lot of excess moisture on your windshield, on your window frames, even on your RV walls, get rid of it by using a microfiber towel or a chamois that you can then wring out and then make sure you hang that to dry on the outside of your RV if you can. That's gonna get rid of the moisture in the air and as it dries, it's not going to just like dry back to the inside of your RV again. It's gonna dry outside and you can just get that out of the RV. Now I'm gonna give you the top tip we use to battle condensation and cooler weather in just a few minutes. But first, I wanted to let you know about a great product that I have recently found for RVing when the weather is cooler. For me, there is just something comforting about a nice pair of slipper socks to keep your feet warm, especially in the RV, because these floors are not insulated well and they get cold when the temperature drops. Now I'm pretty excited about these new slipper socks from Winnie's because they come with overshoes. Now this is perfect when I have to take Alaska outside or go outside for any reason and I don't have to take my slipper socks off or put on different shoes, but rather I just slip on the Winnie's overshoes and I can go outside, take the dog out to do his thing. And then when I come back inside, I can just slip off the overshoes and my feet stay nice and warm in the slipper socks. Now, I personally think these make a great gift for not only RVers, but for anyone who really doesn't want to have to change out of their comfy socks. So for a limited time, we have partnered with Winnie's that you can save 10% with the code GRATEFULGLAMPER at checkout. We'll have a link below or you can visit gratefulglamper.com forward slash Winnie's. <laughs> Tip number three, 
Use the bathhouse to shower if you can, but if you need to shower in your RV, use a squeegee to wipe down the shower walls and then be sure to turn on the vent and the fan when that you are showering. I am just using a squeegee that I found at the Dollar Tree. And speaking of which, I have a very unconventional use for this tool. So I am gonna put a link for a video after this one where you can see how else you can use this Dollar Tree squeegee with RV Life. Oh, 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 hey. oh, oh, oh. Tip number four, cook outside if you can. If you're cooking inside, make sure to crack the windows, crack those roof vents, run the roof fans to allow the moisture from the cooking to escape out of the top of your RV. Now, here's a little hack. If you use an Instant Pot for cooking, like I use my Instant Pot all the time for cooking, if you are camping, it's cold, you're bottling moisture in your RV, just take that Instant Pot outside and crack open the valve to let the steam out outside of the RV and then bring it back in, no condensation inside of the RV from that instant pot. If you're using an air fryer, which I also do, or even the convection oven, just make sure that you have a fan in the roof that you've got venting all of that to the outside. Now, number five, this is our top tip, top, top, top tip. The number one tool we use <laughs> to battle condensation in the RV is a dehumidifier. We have a very large unit that we use in the RV when it is parked at our home base. If we're not in the RV, cause this thing's like the Mondo Mondo dehumidifier of dehumidifiers. But if we are in our RV actually camping, what we use is this little jobby right here. This does an amazing job. I'll put a link in the description below. We got this one on Amazon. With this one, it does take two. So one at the front of our RV and one at the back of our RV since our RV is very, very long. Or even if you have something like a fifth wheel where you have a bedroom in the back and then a living area in a different section. Dehumidifying, number one way to get rid of condensation because remember it's that moisture in the air. So don't forget to go check out this video on another use for the squeegee. I know that you're going to love it. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.